How to do? I've had a lot of y'all um, contact me on. Oh my gosh, it's winter and Starbucks has these really cute cups. And what can I have that's at Starbucks that's keto friendly? And so, honestly, I'm the loser who knows nothing about Starbucks because I don't. I like I like Folgers coffee. <laughs> And we keep a coffee pot going non-stop at my house. We have like an old school percolator because like we're very particular on how our coffee tastes and all of this. So, um, honestly, I don't really know the options. So, luckily, there was this cutie little patootie guy in Starbucks who was like, Oh, bless your heart, ma'am. Um, here's some options. So... <clears throat> I got some options for you guys. This is the little um, cutie patootie cups y'all are talking about. My gosh, we have to have a cup from Starbucks. Anyway, um, I love coffee, so I was like, we're going to go big or go home on the actual coffee one. So, it's pretty good. Um, to me, Starbucks coffee kind of tastes like hospital coffee, like it's been sitting there a day. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, fair trade no but anyway um uh it's not bad so what i had them do was just the coffee or whatever now they had like a christmas blend and like a blonde and then you could do even like a cold brew um and do it like um just with the ice so i was like oh that's pretty cool because i used to back in the day get like frappuccinos but that's been like a long time ago um so, that's just coffee with heavy cream. Um, I mean, you could do coconut milk if you wanted or um, light cream, he said. And I was like, mm, I'm going to go full fat uh, with the heavy cream. And then it was, they had sugar-free cinnamon syrup. Um, and so, I was like, ooh, let's try that because I love cinnamon. And so, he put some pumps of that in there. That's pretty good, actually. Um, really, the cinnamon really hits you. But anyway, and he said that the other one that people ask a lot of is this one. Now, whenever he did it for me, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. How pretty. Oh, isn't it pretty in pink? So pretty. Um, and I was really excited to try it. It's um, passion tea. Um, with sugar-free vanilla, with heavy cream, no water. He emphasized that you don't need any water with this. Anyway, uh, no liquid on sugar. I have, I have no idea what that means. That's different. Um, that's... That's different. Um, not exactly what I was expecting. I don't know. I was kind of hoping it tastes like cotton candy, <laughs> to be honest. It kind of looks like cotton candy. I don't know. It's different. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's different. It could be the cinnamon coffee that I have that tastes so lovely in my mouth that kind of makes it taste a little. So anyway, those are two options that you can have. Just a plain coffee. You could have it cold brewed. And then, of course, they have all different kinds of coffees that you can choose from. And coffee's all low carb. So, And I'm all for caffeine, obviously. Um, I'm, I could drink, like literally, we drink a cup of coffee and then go to bed. Like caffeine does not affect me at all. Um, so I drink it whenever I feel like it, which is all the time. But... Um, so, the, the one with the cinnamon, hey, that's not too bad. So, the cinnamon sugar-free syrup and the heavy cream. And um, and then the other one is the passion tea uh, with heavy cream and the sugar-free vanilla syrup. And it's not too bad. If you're out and about and you're wanting to really get into the if you miss going to Starbucks which I understand you know obviously a lot of people are diehard Starbucks fans so those are two options and then of course you could just you know have straight up black coffee but um, anyway if you have any other questions or stuff that you want me to try out 
just holler at me and I will test them out. All right, bye.